Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Guy here at Sewing with Fire Welding, and I'm here to introduce to you Canawelds' newest member of the family, the 1601 multi-process machine. It'll do your stick, your TIG, your MIG, your flux core. Now, this one's designed more for that hobbyist garage-style welder, or if it's somebody looking for something more lightweight for those smaller jobs. I want to let everybody know that Canawelds not paying me for this video. However, they've provided me with the power source to unbox. So we're going to have a look at all the features. We're going to look at what's entailed in this package. And I'm also going to do a pro tip on weld sequencing because it can greatly affect the appearance of your welds. Once again, I've got it all laid out here. Here you can see everything that comes with the 1601 gold package. Everything's a little bit smaller and more lightweight, except for your TIG torch is the number 26 torch with the adapter for that smaller DINs. We have everything we'll need for MIG, stick, TIG welding, and your flux core with some extras, and it even comes with a nice variety of tungsten. Now, the one thing that really stands out about Canaweld is its comprehensive four-year warranty. Now, they've recently just extended that from three to four years, and most welders, most power sources that I see fall anywhere between one and three years. So as long as you're signing up for that properly, you're gonna get that extended one year. Okay, be aware, I'm gonna spit out a whole bunch of technical information. So you can always make reference to that manual. So this machine's about 19 pounds, so it's lightweight and portable. It plugs into a 110, 115 volt outlet, which was designed for portability. It has an energy saving function and was tested to perform in conditions up to 40 degrees C or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Your welding processes include your MIG, your flux core, your stick, your TIG lift arc on DC. It also has your synergic controls, which feature your automated adjustment for the less experienced welder. Some other features include your digital controls and polarity changeover. Replaceable double groove drive rolls are designed for changeover without the need for tools. And it's capable of supporting your eight inch spool of wire for continuous welding. It also has a spool gun capability efficient for aluminum welding. It offers adjustable voltage, wire speed, waveform, and burn back settings specifically for the MIG process. User selectable settings for material type and wire diameter, and it also has the 2T, 4T operation in the MIG process. All right, so that was a bit of a mouthful. Let's simplify this a little bit. This machine here has a lot of the same capabilities as Canawell's larger multi-process machines, except it is a lot smaller, lightweight, and designed for portability. All right, we're working hard at unboxing this Canawell. We're gonna stick weld this piece here. And I talked a little bit about sequencing and weld placement and how it can dramatically affect the finished product of your weld. Let's have a look at this typical weld joint. Here we have an outside corner joint welded to a base plate, something very common you would see in industry. After we put some good tacks into this piece, I like to feather out any large welds that may affect the appearance of that finished product. Number one, first thing will be to perform this vertical weld. After this one is complete, you want to wrap your start, giving it an almost seamless look. Leaving this weld until the end will cause an oversized button you will need to grind down afterwards. Number two, you want to wrap your corners. A lot of welders don't know to wrap their corners or out of sheer laziness refuse to go around. Now this doesn't have to be a continuous weld around. I like to wrap the corners, then fill in on each side. Let's take a second and recap. Number one, we want to weld the top member first. As mentioned, if we don't, we end up with a weird start in the middle of our bottom weld. This can leave you with lack of fusion and a bunch of other problems. Number two, wrap the corners on that base plate. If a weld is going to fail, it's more likely to fail on that transition, like in a corner. It's also most likely to fail where there's a stop and restart. Number three, tie into both those corners and travel a little slower through that middle. Give it a nice clean and then we examine. Okay, I hope you learned something. Let's talk a little bit more about that 1601. As mentioned, this power source can be used for performing small jobs where you only have 110, 115 volt plug available. Now, this is not electrical advice and only my experience. However, one thing to recognize is to make sure you have the appropriate power with the right size amperage. Although this will work on a 15 amp breaker, in order to use the machine's full capabilities, I hooked it up to a 20 amp plug. This machine does have the 110 20 amp sideways plug available. 
Keep in mind, this machine is capable of welding 3 16 material, 5 millimeters thick. Here you can see me setting up for a small repair on a utility trailer. I decided to use the stick option as it seemed the most appropriate. I had some old 332 7018 hanging around, so I decided to try these out. It seemed to do the trick. I really like the portable backpack that I can throw over my shoulder, and it took me no time to set up and take down. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was Canaweld 1601 multi-process, your stick, your TIG, your MIG, your flux core, can even hook up a spool gun to this welder. So keep in mind that this is a garage type welder for that beginner welder, or if you're looking for something a little bit smaller and lightweight for those on-site jobs. I mean, that four-year warranty is definitely a positive in my books, and the fact that this thing weighs only about 19 pounds. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. We did a little pro tip with that stick process. I hope you learned something. So we'll catch you on the next one. And as always, keep those lenses clean.